We have now uh, some uh, data uh, regarding a uh, combination of uh, the BCL2 inhibitor venetoclax uh, with uh, monoclonal antibodies and uh, we have uh, uh, information on the combination of uh, BTK inhibitors, uh, uh, especially uh, acalabrutinib uh, with uh, obinutuzumab. Uh, with uh, acalabrutinib uh, plus obinutuzumab uh, in the Elevate uh, TN trial, uh, this uh, combination uh, uh, resulted in uh, improved efficacy but uh, also uh, more toxicity. So uh, there is a question uh, whether in uh, the routine practice uh, we will use uh, the combination or rather we will stick uh, with uh, monotherapy with uh, acalabrutinib. Uh, with regard to uh, venetoclax plus uh, monoclonal antibodies uh, combinations, uh, again uh, the addition of uh, monoclonal antibodies uh, uh, increases uh, toxicity, uh, um, for example, regarding uh, neutropenia, uh, but uh, it's uh, not uh, that uh, significant, and uh, therefore uh, the combination of uh, venetoclax uh, plus obinutuzumab in the first line and uh, combination of uh, venetoclax uh, plus uh, rituximab uh, in the relapse refractory setting is uh, is uh, uh, one of uh, the uh, standard approaches. The third. Uh, uh, possibility uh, the combination of uh, venetoclax plus uh, BTK inhibitor so ibrutinib or uh, acalabrutinib uh, it's uh, now uh, only being studied uh, within uh, within uh, clinical trials uh, first uh, uh, um, I would say pilot uh, data uh, have been uh, have been published and again uh, there is uh, some uh, additional uh, toxicity uh, if uh, these uh, these agents are uh, combined so so one of the main questions uh, today uh, is uh, what uh, will be the uh, the way forward, whether to uh, rather combine venetoclax uh, plus a monoclonal antibody or venetoclax plus a BTK inhibitor, or whether there will be a triplet uh, combining all uh, all three uh, of these uh, agents.